Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we will be solving systems of linear equations by graphing. So we're going to figure out what all of that means. It sounds kind of complicated, but it's actually not so bad. Let's take a look at it. First off, what is a system of linear equations? A system of linear equations is when you graph two straight lines. Linear equations are just lines. And a system of linear equations is when you have two of those lines. We're going to be working with two. Um, but it would be two or more lines graphed together. The solution of a system of linear equations is just where the lines cross. So we're going to be graphing two lines and looking at where they cross. And this box is just to make nice, you know, symmetry. It's not even symmetrical, but just to give us some primary colors of red, blue, and yellow. All right, let's take a look at um, solutions to systems. Two lines can have three types of different solutions. You can have one solution if they cross at one point. You can have no solutions if they are parallel and they never cross. And you can have an infinite number of solutions if you have two lines that are set exactly on top of each other. In other words, two equations that are exactly the same line. Then they would have infinite number of solutions. Every point on both lines is a, is a point on both lines. So let's look at a couple of examples now. When we're asked to solve an equation, we do this. We graph the two lines, or we are given a graph of two lines. We ask ourselves where they cross, and then we're done. So here's an example. Where do they cross? Right there, at the point 1, 2. So that would be how we would solve it if we were given a graph. When we're given a graph, this is the easiest type of question with um, solving systems of linear equations. Let's um, take a look at this one. Here are two lines. Where do they cross? Right there, at the point negative 5, negative 5. All right. This is getting pretty easy. How about this one? Two lines, where do they cross? They're parallel, they never cross, so there's no solution to this set of linear equations. Okay. How about this one? This is the third example type. We've got two lines and we ask where do they cross? Well, they cross here and here and here and here and here and here and here. Everywhere. Right? The same exact line. So every place on each line is a solution. There are infinite number of solutions to this set or this system of linear equations. Now, sometimes you'll be given a graph where it actually tells you um, some information and sets up a word problem like this. Two different people invest money into different companies and their profits are shown by the graph below. At what point do you receive the same amount of profit for your investment? And it would be the point that they cross right there, 40, 30. So they both invested $40 and they both had $30 profit. Okay, so that's the point where they cross. So sometimes you'll be given a word problem like this, given a graph and a word problem. In other questions, like a common core type of question, you might be given a sample word problem with no graph. And that's what this question looks like. Jim wrote a book and he's selling it online. Two different credit card companies and websites charge different amounts. He's making a graph that compares how much he will make, Y, for selling the books for X dollars. The two lines cross at the point um, 10-3. Which statement is true? So this is like a, a description of a graph of two points that cross. So you're comparing two credit card companies or websites and saying, if I sell the book for X dollars, or in other words, I sell the book for $10, I am making Y dollars, $3. So that's essentially what's happening. And what, with this type of question, it's important to understand what our x values are and what our y values are. Because the clear correct answer here is B. Jim will earn $3 if he sells the book for $10 on either website. So the cost and, and profit on either website cross at the point 10 3 
In other words, if he sells it for $10, he will make $3 on both websites. The other options are basically thrown in there just to, to throw you off. He'll earn $7 if he makes it on either. That's the difference between the two numbers. Jim will earn the same amount from the two websites. This is kind of playing to the idea that, oh, if they cross, then he's making the same amount. Um, but if he's selling one for $3 and one for 10 or this last option, Jim will make $10 on one website, 3 on the other. It just shows that we're not quite sure. We don't understand what this is actually saying. So it's important to read the question carefully, look at what it's actually saying, and then kind of break down the pieces of information. So uh, again, this is kind of a challenging uh, sample word problem that might go along with the concepts that we've talked about in this lesson. Here is your Common Core Anchor and PA eligible content for the topic that we've discussed in this lesson. I hope it was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.